I am scented foam, a traveler of the fragrant space-time. It's a beautiful night here in Athens, Greece. The last days, the weather has decided to be a bit more summery and warm, but there is still this beautiful night breeze that gives you a balancing feel, an embracing touch, and also offers a traveling mind, making you think of unknown lands and cities and distant worlds. We will be following this traveling mind of ours to begin a journey, a journey to distant floral lands. The floral perfumes we are going to talk about today possess a supernal bewitching quality about them. They are floral perfumes that will bring you in touch with your more esoteric power and sense of self. Florals combined with the warmth and arcane allure of resins, balsams and aromatic spices. Welcome to the mystic floral journey. Follow this ambrosial path along with me and of course, enjoy. We begin with Rose. Did you know that Rose has the power to soothe the heart and emotions and also can assist in healing of past griefs so that one can move on and live in the present moment? Combined with the wonders of patchouli and incense, it offers an irresistible combination of feelings. Portrait of a Lady by Frédéric Mal. Here you come. This immediately transports me to another level of existence. I close my eyes and I imagine being lit up above the earth, found in a world that exists within me, connecting my body, my mind and my soul. It almost feels like it's revealing me a part of my myself that I'm not consciously aware of. The most balancing and soothed down, but still deep and mysterious incense rules over the other notes and embraces a very high quality rose that I imagine having a deep red color in the verge of brown. This fragrance is a spiritual journey. The patchouli in here, it's so discreet and velvety. It feels like a shadow. It, it offers a, a minty shadow to the fragrance which prevents it from ever being suffocating or musty, which in my opinion also makes it appropriate for the summer. This is a very bold fragrance. It, it, is, it makes a statement. It's not easy. It needs time to be understood and received with its smoky Eastern lights of magic. The bottle is different because this here is the hair mist, as you can see. And this is a beautiful, beautifully done hair mist because it's very intense and long lasting. And also it feels somehow airier and fluffier for the summer. So you put it on your hair and they exude this wonderfully captivating aura of smoky, dusty rose and allure. So this is Portrait of a Lady by Frédéric Mal. Let's proceed to a silver floral sensation, to a floral that feels like it has been caressed by the moonbeams, an eternal perfume that is deep, seductive and mysterious. Soif de Lune by Cicely, this wonderful oakmoss creature of the night. This fragrance has rose, mimosa, jasmine and lily of the valley and all these notes dance with a silver dressed oak moss which offers its bitter earthiness, perplexing the romantic floral accords. The truth is that the flowers in here are so masterfully blended that you can somehow sense them all and none at once. It's like a medley of flowers that that creates a new unknown flower that no one has ever seen. Mm, and the spices, the coriander and the pepper add up to this magical complexity. There is also a beautiful honey accord which creates a sweet core within the bitter space the oak moss draws. And this combination offers a magical contradiction that mystifies and bewitches. I imagine mossy rocks in a 
forest garden under the moonlight of a summery night. Moreover, this beautiful fragrance is found within one of the most beautiful bottles, in my opinion, with this wonderfully created cup that depicts goddess moon. So this was Soir de Lune by Sisley. Mimosa, with its bright yellow color, is said to symbolize the sun, but also the nature of secret love increased sensitivity and safety. It offers to me personally a feel of familiarity, a motherly feel, playful, joyous and secure. Now, combine it with vetiver and be presented with Cypress Shade by the House of Old Beautiful Bottle. Now, before I proceed to the fragrance, a bit on vetiver, which plays an important part in here. Vetiver is one of the oldest plants on earth and its essential oil has been used since the Babylonian Empire. It is also known as the oil of tranquility or the fragrance of the soil. Its scent is resinous, deep, earthy and passionate. It has also been used during the Middle Ages in perfumes and it is said to have uplifting and soothing properties. So this perfume combines all the above traits of the mimosa and the vetiver to create an impressive, plush, aromatic blend of yellow flowers, woods and green sparkly spices. If you, like me, associate colors with scents, let me tell you that the colors of this bottle represent the perfume and the way it smells quite accurately. You have to enjoy the aromatic side of perfumery to appreciate this beauty, but the sweet, mellow and powdery mimosa really shines within the, the woody, earthy world the vetiver creates. This perfume is very grand and imposing. Its stripy aspects feel braided with luminous threads. Thus, its olfactory perception ranges from earthy to airy and bright. It's very long lasting and it has a huge projection. People around you will perceive its impressive floral aura for sure. Mystic Floral Cyber Shade by the House of Wood with its beautiful and impressive green, yellow, gold bottle. monks to grow inner strength and enhance peace to the mind and soul. Also in some parts of Middle East and Africa, it is believed that the smoke created by burning agarwood chips works as a carrier of prayers. Thus, oud could not be missing from my mystic floral journey. Scherzo by Miller Harris. Here you come. In this fragrance, an extremely high quality oud comes to salute the flowers of rose and narcissus. When I take a whiff, I feel like entering a sacred place with the capacity of meditation and deep focus. Its sweet edible side, its gourmand side, gives it a really intriguing aspect because it balances the harshest side of the oud and it creates the creamy, most milky, seductive and smooth woody quality that really captivates you and draws your attention. The tangerine also works in a balancing way with its bright sparkly aspects. It uplifts the mysterious and deep woody character. Of course, the rose is very, very distinct and is very beautifully blended with the oud, creating one of the best fragrances of the rose oud family for me. Narcissus, I'm not sure if I get the Narcissus, but maybe it works as a supporter of the animalic side of this perfume. There is a very discreet, smooth animalic character about this perfume, which I really enjoy. In the core, you can get a deep, spicy, resinous accord, which rounds all the other notes up and it also offers warmth and tenderness. This fragrance is intoxicating, deep, mysterious, sweet. 
it complements each time I wear this perfume. And usually people are lost for words. They don't know exactly what they're smelling, but they seem somehow bewitched by it. It also has a vintage vibe about it. Not too much, you're always in the verge of things. while fresher and upbeat, has a mystifying story behind it and therefore definitely deserves a place in this mystic floral journey of ours. Folka Maria by Wiener Blut. Wiener Blut, an Austrian niche house. The story behind this perfume is that of a forgotten flower. Would you imagine a forgotten flower record? As the official website mentions, in the last decades of the 19th century, the immensely fragrant blossoms of an exotic shrub called Folkameria or Folkameria enjoyed extreme popularity in the world of perfumery. Around the turn of the century, its popularity faded until the plant and its story were lost in obscurity. Wiener Blut stumbled upon an old formula in the archives of the National Bibliothek of Vienna. And after a lot of tries, they managed to cultivate the plant and created a fragrance around its theme called Folka Maria. And this is the fragrance. This perfume is sweet, milky, it has an earthy powdery accord and a citrus sparkle. The citrus gives it a very interesting airy kick it gives it a floating ecstasy, which blends with the earthier aspects of the iris. It has two types of iris inside, iris from Florence and iris from France. I think the heliotrope is the culprit for this beautiful milky almond accord that gives it its edible gourmand character. But the iris grounds the other notes, so it offers a magical perplexity. This perfume shows different faces during its wear. It is sometimes perceived as citrusy, other times as cosmetic powder type of scent, and other times as edible and gourmand, like a milky gourmand. So that attribute makes it really intriguing for me. Its longevity is around seven to eight hours and it projects really well. A perfume that celebrates the glory of a forgotten flower. Folka Maria. Last but not least, we will talk about these mystic flowers, Immortel and Geranium, and a very provocative fragrance which is inspired by the character The Fool or Le Mat from the tarot world. Le Mat by Mendito Rosa. I only have a sample and it comes with this beautiful tarot card. Tarot connoisseurs say that Le Mat or the Fool is a character that is found between the earth and sky. Freedom, travel, energy and chaos are only some of the words that are associated with this character. The card represents a boundless source of energy. The fool could be a traveler, a pilgrim that heads to a sacred place, or a wandering madman. And most importantly, it could be any one of us. The notes of Le Mat give absolute justice to all the above mentioned traits by creating a unique and majestic perfume that is not here to please but it's here to create, to offer an effective experience with spices, patchouli, rose, and a bitter geranium accord taking the reins. Mendito Rosa offers us a vibrant, energetic, and magical experience. There's also a dry herbal floral accord, which I suppose derives from the Spanish Immortel. And there is a distinct geranium note with an aromatic green quality and something rosy and bitter. This fragrance will give you a wandering mind, the mind of the fool. There is a dark elixir feel underneath the rose. It's a transformation potion which will unleash all your possibilities, bad or good. Dramat by Mendito Rosa, Mystic Floral number no. 6. Our mystic floral journey has come to an end. 
I hope you enjoyed all the talk about these beautiful floral perfumes with special traits and attributes. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, I wish you inner strength, peace of mind, and loads of fragrant fun.